Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this pretty clean, kind of a camcorder, even 2000s effect in After Effects. So starting off, I already have my clip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and create an adjustment layer. Then I'm going to add noise. Go right here and just drag in the base noise effect. Turn off our color noise and I'm going to put it on 20. Then the reason why I'm going to add this noise effect is just to actually give that clean noise effect you see in those 2000s or camcorder videos. And just makes it look way nicer and even kind of like realistic a bit or kind of close to those actual videos. So you can tell how it looks before and after with the actual noise effect. So once we get something like this, I'm going to go ahead and add exposure. Then I'm going to create our first keyframe pressing on our time watch right here. And we're going to have the first keyframe on zero. Then I'm going to skip one keyframe forward put on one then let me push this one right here then I'll highlight both keyframes easy to then I'm gonna copy those both keyframes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it skip like a frame and just leave a gap in the middle and I'm just adding exposure just to get this nice white flashing effect right here and let's say if you want it more brighter you can always bring up your exposure so let me go over here and I'm just going to go ahead and keep on copying, pasting it. Obviously, there's a much better way. I can just straight up copy all of this and just like that, it saves a lot of time instead of just doing, you know, copying, pasting one, what, like one loop right there. Just saves a lot of time. So once after we're done making our white flicker loop, I'm going to close out our exposure effect. Then I'm going to actually add S underscore half tone color, drag it in and go to our dots color and put an RGB, go to our dots frequency and bring it up to like all the way to like 600. Then we go to my dots sharpness right here and I'm going to bring it all the way down to two. Go to our saturation. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to 0 0.4 and it kind of blends in more with our actual regular color from our actual clip that we're using. So you can tell from the before and after. So you get something like this. So the main reason why I just added the halftone color effect is just to give our actual clip even a much nicer textured look that goes along with the noise effect. So you can tell if we're to turn off the noise, it, you know, it, it just doesn't look the best. It needs the noise to actually give off that cool 2000s camcorder look. So it's after I'm done adding the S underscore halftone color effect, I'm gonna go ahead and add time code, drag it over here. And what this does is it just brings in a nice time, uh, like I guess like a bar, like a timer right here. And you can even bring it like right here and it starts to get affected and helps just give us a nice timer on the left hand side. You can go ahead and just move the position. There's so many ways to even mess around so you can make it like red. This is very customizable. It's just up to you what you actually like. And I'm going to add a posterize time. Drag it over right here. And depending on how you want your clip to like lag a bit or lower our frame rate, I'm going to... I'm going to bring it down to like maybe 14. I can tell right here how our actual frame rate starts to slow down. So if I were to turn off the posterized time effect, you can tell how it's even much smoother. But if I were to turn on the posterized time, you can tell the difference. And just like that, you get this pretty clean camcorder effect to use in your next edit or even music video. And yeah, if you like this camcorder effect, I'm going to show you guys some other ones you might also like. So I'm going to create another adjustment layer. Go to my animation presets, user presets. To go to my grunge on IQ pack and go to my grunge CRT essentials. And this has all of my grunge CRT effects. And I'm going to click on a blue aura CRT effect. So once after I'm done letting it uh, render out, this is how it looks like with the actual preset. It looks super clean. Um, I'm going to show you guys some other ones as well. And I'm going to use the white phosphorus CRT effect. So this is how the actual white phosphorus CRT effect looks like. Um, I'm actually going to open up our layers. Highlight all this, close it right here. And then I'm gonna go over to my tritone effect and there's so many ways to even mess around with this. So it's even customizable. So you can pick any color you want. So let's say I wanna pick like a blue color. You can change it as well. Let's say you don't like blue, blue should not be your thing. You can even change it to red. So if you like how these effects look like, I recommend checking out the Grinch Anarchy preset pack. It's really useful. It comes with 40 customizable presets that help you save time editing while also making your edits look very nice and just overall very unique. So if you want to cop the preset pack, make sure to use code YT5 to save $5 off when you buy the pack. 
it's gonna be the first link in the description below and yeah um that's enough of me yapping hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like subscribe we leave a comment on what you guys want to see next keep working hard and keep on staying creative i'll see you guys in the next video peace out